Hey everybody and welcome to the Pedal Zone. I'm Stefan and this is the Source Audio Collider. A truly killer true stereo reverb and delay pedal that's capable of everything from bread and butter ambience to fully spaced out and synthetic sound designs. This thing, it does a lot, so let's get to know it by hearing some of my favorite ways to use this beautiful ambient machine. Before we get into it, I just think it's worth acknowledging how well thought out Collider is. Um, you have one set of controls that's suited for both the reverb and delay side, and you simply choose what side you're on via this mini toggle down here. Then you have the big encoder in the middle that lets you select between uh, five different delay algorithms. and seven different reverb algorithms. Delay control sets the delay time and the reverb pre-delay. Feedback sets the delay regeneration and the reverb decay. Mix controls the overall uh, dry wet mix and it can go 100% wet if you wanted to. Tone makes your sound darker or brighter. And control one and control two do different things depending on what uh, algorithm you're on. But uh, it's mainly tied to modulation or EQ. And then down here you have uh, two dual functioning bypass switches, which means that the delay switch can also act as a tap tempo and the reverb switch can also act as a freeze oscillate function if you press and hold it. And then we have four onboard presets here and there's access to even more if you dive into the MIDI. And breathe. <laughs> Let's hear some sounds. I think we should start out with a more classic vintage tone. So let's mix the oil can delay and the true spring reverb for a lively and slightly gritty texture that's full of warmth and mojo.
Now let's go full hammock. Hammock the band that is, because using a well modulated tape delay and the E dome reverb just instantly reminds me of their amazing ambient textures. A sound that I can just get lost in for hours and hours on end. Okay, time to dive deeper, because by default the delay side is tied to the delay algorithms and the reverb side is tied to the reverb algorithms. But if you hold down this tiny control switch here while moving the encoder, you fully unlock the algorithms, enabling you to use whatever sound you want on whatever side you want. So now you can for instance use two delay algorithms at the same time for cool rhythmic effects. Or how about stacking two different reverbs for beautifully blooming and shimmering soundscapes?
by now you're probably starting to think, well, what about the stacking order? Well, by default, the delay side is always set to run into the reverb side. But if you want to do it the other way around, you can always choose a reverb algorithm for the delay side and a delay algorithm for the reverb side. To show this, I've uh, set up two presets in the free source audio neuro editor so we can quickly hear the difference. Wait, we're not done with the cool features yet, because you also get access to parallel routing via the editor for even more clarity in your soundscapes. you can split the collider's left and right channels, enabling you to use different sounds on each side of the stereo field. Just because we can, let's hear that amazing e-dome reverb and digital delay again, but this time in a little cool synth jam.
right, it's verdict time. And uh, as you probably know, the, the Collider has been out for quite some time now. And you're probably thinking, is it still worth it? Is it still relevant? And all I can say is, yes, it's most definitely worth it and it's most definitely relevant. And a pedal that sounds this good will always be relevant. Because these are honestly some of the finest reverb and delay algorithms I've I've ever heard, and I've heard many during my lifetime. On the reverb side of things, the Hall and the, the E-Dome really stands out to me with their blooming and far-reaching modulated ambience, while the true spring reverb has to be, it just has to be, the finest digital spring emulation I've ever heard. Um, on the delay side of things, I'm just utterly floored by that digital delay, and it just goes to show that Creating a good digital delay isn't as simple as you think, because this one is just so musical and definitely a cut above others I've heard. Um, and besides that, the tape and the reverse delays just always bring magical textures to the table. The only negative thing I could possibly say about this pedal is that the I.O. layout could have been implemented just a tad better. Um, if you're gonna run this pedal in full stereo and with MIDI and some sort of controller or expression device, then cable management can get cramped pretty darn fast. But other than that, I, I can't fault this one. It's easy to use and it just sounds divine. And for once, I'm, I'm actually really happy that a demo is about to end because that means that I can finally put this thing on my main board where it belongs. So I'm out. I'm going to go and play my pedal now. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next one.